Hey everyone, it's Friday, February 24th, time for the Friday Five. Um, these are the top five fragrances that I've used this week. And I know that looking at it, I can't believe it. There's actual votives on my Friday Five. And yes, even though I really don't like to purchase them, if I'm going to fragrance one of my main rooms, they're actually okay for a little bit of ambiance for the bathroom. So definitely in my tri votive holder, that's what I just call it, it's just a three um, votive holder. And it's for mixologies, and of course it looks like a melted mess right now, but it's actually Pink Sands Beach Party, which is sun and sand, and then the pas the citrus passion lime, and I just called it beach and drinks. So it it was pretty good. I mean, it's not done, and you can see it kind of has done it evenly. For a while there, the pink sands wouldn't stay lit, so um, I had to do a lot of work on it. But it's evened out, and if I get to the end and it's still kind of messy, I'll just pop it all out and put it in the tart warmer. I think that this is a beautiful holder even though it is for votives but like I said it's not so bad if I'm going to use it for ambiance in the bathroom or if I do want to fragrance the bathroom because it is such a small bathroom for the guest bath that I don't mind using votives and it gives me a chance to use all my decorative holders that I buy which is really funny because I do buy the tea light holders and the votive holders for the decorations from Yankee or anywhere actually. But anyway, so that's my first one. It's my mixology of beach and drinks of my votives. So if you are a votive person and you do not have this, maybe you want to read up some more about it and you can see it's kind of dirty because my lighter is like on full throttle. I thought it was going to light the, the house on fire. But anyway, it's pretty nice. It's a cute little holder. Next, this is another company that I have not really talked about. But I think um, Jason, the Nose knows 76 please, I hope I got that right. He has mentioned this company before in one of his newer videos. And this is our own candle company. It's Hot Apple Pie. I actually have two of these. I don't know if I've actually shared this. And this is the new one that I have. And it actually looks like this. So it, they hold the wick up out of the wax. So you can see it's nice and straight. And you can see oh, it's like glistening. It's got all the oils in there. It's such a nice scent. And I like to burn that with my other apple pie and my um, crisp apple strudel just to give it little extra hints of stuff but you can see that this one's been burning a lot and I think that these are supposed to burn for a hundred hours and that's what it says on the front right up here and they actually do have a website you can go check out all their scents um, there is one I'm looking for and that is the lemon pound cake um, because that's what Jason did his review on and I totally have to find it so hopefully next week I'll be able to stop by Marshall's down south and take a look hopefully they've got some in um, my TJ Maxx that's close it doesn't really have a whole lot of these but it's actually a great candle you can see it's burned nice and evenly hasn't been a problem and it does flower on your wick so you do have to I just use my Yankee trimmers like my um, slacking candles, I really don't cut. Unless I'm cutting all of them, then I'll cut it. But usually, if it's in the bathroom and it's the only candle in there, I'll pull with tissue off the little the little bloom that's on there. All right, speaking of slatkin, here's my oldie but a goodie. And, of course, it doesn't even have a label on it. Um, this is Summer Berries from last year. This is one of my favorite and you know it's been 80 degrees and 60 degrees so I said you know what forget it I'm bringing out summer berries and I'm going to use it a summer blend of wild blackberry sweet vine ripened strawberry and fresh blueberry with a hint of nectarine I really don't think summer berries was all that popular 
I mean, obviously it didn't, it's not back out yet. I just like it though. It's a nice sweet scent. And actually, I think I like the wallflower of this. I'm sparingly using them. Um, but it's strong and it lasts the entire time. You get that nice sweet fragrance. My other one, I'm going to put this one out. Um, I've been burning cinnamon sugar donut. This is fabulous. A delicious combination of crushed cinnamon and vanilla cake donuts with a dusting of sugar. And this I've been burning with that apple pie. Not in the same area, but like in the kitchen, one's farther away from the other. But it really gives that kitchen a nice bakery scent. So I've been enjoying it. And that's one of the ones that I use sparingly too because I really like it but I do have several of those so I want to go ahead and burn up what I have already started so I can make room for new ones and I have not gotten there yet to try any of the new fragrances very very excited I still haven't burned the ones that I have um, I know that some people have posted comments about certain fragrances I haven't even gotten to them yet so they'll probably have a two for twenty before I even get the ones burned down that I have. I have been burning my green grass because that was the one I started with the timer and I want to actually see. I'm about 30 hours in and just under half the candle. So I really think that they changed the time just because, let's see, what does this one say? That it goes all the way to 60? Yeah, this says it goes to 65 hours. I really, which is right here, I really don't think that this one would make 65 so maybe that's why they changed it to 45 but I will let you all know I'll let you know on Twitter and on my blog which way it's going for that one but I really think I'll make it past the 30 hour mark and then my final kinda went off on a little tangent there my final item for my Friday 5 is almond cookie and of course this one's still in its wrapper, but I did melt this this week. It smells so good. I'm actually really disappointed I didn't get this in a candle. I'm hoping maybe one day I'll find it again. It's such a nice scent. If you like almond. If you don't like almond, then it's not something I would suggest. But every now and then, I would like to have some almond. So, almond cookie is perfect. It's not like imitation almond. You actually get like a real almond scent. So it's very nice very true all right now I'm going to answer questions that I didn't get to the last time because I didn't have my notebook with me all right one question was candle placement um, I had talked about I moved a candle so I could get a better um, throw from it and I actually had it near the door and so every time we'd walk in and out of the bedroom the scent was just carrying out into the great room, which my great room is huge and it takes several things to really scent it. I have to have two um, warmers and like four candles going. But that scent was coming out and leaving the room. I believe that was soft blanket I was talking about. And it would leave the room so the room didn't actually smell at all. I couldn't smell it. But then I moved it over to my nightstand. Definitely I would sit in the room with that if you have like a lampshade. You don't want anything to catch on fire. Um, but I did sit in there. I was playing Xbox. And it was going. It was wonderful. Because it. I guess it was just closed and it was able to circulate better. So definitely just check to make sure draft, draft the areas. It needs to stay away from that. And that's, you know, regular furniture size. Probably, you know, to your your waist or up you would need to you know I wouldn't put anything down towards the ground so definitely check to make sure you're not in a drafty area alright um, which candle has the most scent of all now if you're talking about the strongest scent I would say gosh there's a lot lemon lavender spiced orange I think kitchen spice is kind of strong um, gosh any of the well, autumn leaves, there's a lot of the mandel or the man candles 
that small cologne that I think are strong, Nature's Paintbrush. There's, I don't know, um, Cranberry Chutney would be one. Any of the Slackens, and I know this sounds funny since I do have a lot of Yankee, any of the Slackens are really strong, except for green grass. That's the one I'm burning right now. I can't hardly smell it. It smells divine when it's cold, but it's not really throwing like a slatkin. So I am looking forward to actually burning something else that might actually put out a scent. I'm hoping that that's what you meant by the most scent of all. If not, then you need to check to make sure there is oils all the way through your candle if you have the marbleized type of wax. Um, that would be the jar candles from Yankee. You need to check to see that it shows it all the way down. Otherwise, when you hit that pocket, it's not going to be strong. Have I ever tried the Yankee oils, and how are they? I have not tried Yankee yet. I actually have that on my list. Yes, I make a shopping list when I go to Yankee. That way, it prevents me from buying things I don't really need. Um, but I do have uh, Bath & Body Works oils, Crabtree and Evelyn, Party Light, all which are very strong. Um, I have a few that I've seen other people talk about on Facebook that I, I'm anxious to try, which was part of my mixology here, which was the sun and sand and the pink sands. Somebody keeps posting that, and that just sounds amazing. So I'm going to try that, and I, I'm hoping they're going to have kind of a sale. Sometimes they have a deal. If you buy two, you get one free, or buy three, you get one free. I have had excellent luck with all of my oils. At first when I heard about them, I heard they were very, not I don't want to say weak, but you really had to sit close to it in order to smell it. Well, I put Twilight Woods in, and I put it in the bathroom because I thought, well, it's, you know, if it's going to be a weak throw, I want it just to be in the bathroom. Well, it was so strong, it was out the bathroom into the great room, filled the great room, filled the kitchen, the guest room, the candle room, everything except for our master bedroom. And I was just amazed on how strong it was. Like I was afraid my husband was going to tell me to go put it out because it was so strong. But he didn't. And um, I was able to reuse it because I did have to, I did have to blow it out. It was eventually too much. So I would definitely play around with it and see what you think about them. I like them, so I'm definitely going to buy more. However, like one use really did take out a lot, and I, I'm not going to reach back there and get it, but um, it really does empty up the jar. Where do you store your Christmas candles? Now this was actually posted on a different video, but I saw it and I don't think I answered it, so um, I actually store all my candles together. Um, it's not big enough really for me to have to split them and be like this is Christmas this isn't and sometimes even though I I really am a seasonal burner sometimes I might say you know what it's Christmas in March and I might burn one that I feel that I want at that time um, if my collection gets any bigger then I probably will sort it you need to store them in a dry cool dark place that will prevent any discoloring and I really don't think it does anything to the scent, but if you want them to stay attractive, then that's what I would do. I just keep them on a bookshelf in my in my office, and we have the blinds closed, so it's dark enough for me. Let's see. Are Better Homes and Gardens cubes at Walmart, and do they have good a good throw? Um, yes, the Better Homes and Gardens cubes are at Walmart and here is a pack right here this is green apple um, they are two dollars sometimes you can get them on clearance if the season's over like you could find some of the holiday scents um, two dollars you get six pieces of wax about two of them will actually be enough to melt so really you get three uses um, they are strong I don't think I have a set here that was weak and I didn't like it now the sensational brands that look like this, even though they look the same, um, I actually found that these are not as strong. Um, I've tried Sweet Pea and I've tried the Mandarin Mango Madness and I haven't had any luck. They weren't very strong at all. But then when I tried the Tangerine Zest 
from the Better Homes and Gardens, it was wicked strong. So you will have to pick and choose. Even though the um, sensational ones smelled very strong in the package, they just weren't throwing well for me. But I figure two dollars and you get at least three different rotations, that would be a good buy for me. All right, an update on the metal sleeve. Oh, and I didn't bring it in here. It's my one from my Citrus Passion line, and it fits around jar candles and tumblers. Yes, it does help with the wax pool. So, and somebody had posted something about creating a wax pool quickly, and um, by insert you have to buy a spool of wick, and then you would in cut a little bit, insert it into the candle. I have not tried that, but somebody did post it. I don't remember where it was either. I'm sorry. But go look in the comments. You might be able to see something. I, like I said, I have not tried that. Um, I just, I'm happy with my metal sleeve. I have my little knitted um, candle sleeve. And then I also have my marble pillars. So I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm not too worried about really speeding up the wax process but if you are in a hurry you know and you don't have time to sit for four hours while it gets that top melted then see I just think about it am I going to be home long enough to melt this and if my answer is no then I don't I don't light the candle I'll just use a tart okay that was all the questions so if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask um, I'm getting ready to record the storage for tarts and I will put up the um, tea light and electric warmers I'm just showing you a variety of them and um, hopefully I will have both those videos up tonight along with this one Whoo! this was a long one um, until then I uh, take care have a good weekend